Hello and welcome back to this video series where we're looking at building an e-commerce platform in 25 days using Next, Netlify and Stripe. In this video, we're going to look at how we can handle secrets and environment variables uh, in Netlify functions. So in the last video, we set up Stripe. Um, so now if you go to this get your API keys section, um, you should be able to see your test API keys. And then if you are able to, to complete your business details section, then you'll be able to see your, see your live API keys as well. So if you don't have access to your live API keys yet, uh, we can continue on from this point um, and get all of the plumbing and all the bits uh, configured correctly. And then once you have your live API keys, you can just set up uh, those environment variables and everything should wire up correctly. So you can still follow on with the series until you're able to get access to those. So these API keys have been uh, split into two different sections. So we have test and we have live. Um, so these test API keys are what we're going to use in our development environment. So as we're building our application and running locally, uh, we'll be using these test API keys. And then when we deploy to production, that's when we'll use these live API keys. So they'll give us access to the same Stripe account. Uh, it's just kind of separated between dev and production. So then within each of those uh, categories of keys, we have a publishable key and we have a secret key. So the publishable key isn't uh, as big a deal if it, if it ends up getting leaked somewhere. Uh, obviously, we should still be like pretty careful with it, but a publishable key is something that we can put in the front end. So something in our client um, and anything that we put in our client, uh, people can tinker with and people can gain access. Um, so you should think of your publishable key just as, as a public key that's, um, you know, that, that people are going to be able to access, but your secret key should be 100% secret. No one should be able to have access to that. Um, and only the server should know about um, secret keys in order to actually talk directly with Stripe. Okay, so let's bring these keys into our application. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a .env file. And so this is where we're going to put our environment variables. But this is a file that we don't want to commit to GitHub. So this is something that we just wanna have locally. Um, and then we can put our environment variables in there. Um, and then when we commit to GitHub, we want that to be excluded. So in that case, we just need to add it to our git ignore. And now you'll see that goes gray, um, which means that it's being excluded from our git history. So now I'm just going to copy those two keys in. So now inside our Netlify functions, we can access those environment variables by saying process.env and then dot whatever that environment variable was. So in this case, uh, stripe public key, and then our stripe public key uh, will basically replace this statement. Okay, cool. So when we're running in development mode, so when we're running locally, uh, we're going to be using this .env file, um, which has our two uh, variables, our two test API keys, so our publishable key and our secret key. Um, but then when we're running in production mode, so when Netlify um, builds and deploys our application and our serverless functions, uh, we want it to use our live API keys. So if we head over to our site in Netlify and we click site settings and then scroll down to build and deploy and then go to uh, environment, here we can edit our environment variables um, and add our production version of these keys. So we just need to make sure that our key name matches exactly what's in our .env file. So this Stripe public key and that is going to be set to our live API key version of this public key. And then we add another new variable for our Stripe private key. Sorry, it's our Stripe secret key, because remember it needs to match exactly what's in here. So Stripe secret key, which is going to be set to, again, our live API keys secret key. And that's it. So now when we're running in dev mode inside our charge card function, if we were to access process.env stripe public key, that's going to grab that value from our .env file. Um, but when we're running in production, so when this is running up in Netlify land, um, it's going to come and read our stripe public key from here. So let's do a quick test just to make sure that this is working.
Okay, so I've just created uh, a new test.js file in our functions directory. So this is going to be a new Netlify serverless function. Uh, and in here, I am just returning a status code 200. So everything is all good with the body public key. And then I'm printing out our Stripe public key for whichever environment we're running in. So now if we run uh, this function in our local environment, so again, uh, make sure that you're running Netlify dev. If you're just running npm run dev here, um, you won't have those serverless functions built and running locally. Um, so when we're running Netlify dev, we can go to .netlify slash functions slash test. So you'll see here that this has printed out our public key for pk test and then the rest of our key. And if we have a look here in our uh, API keys, our test publishable key has pk underscore test, whereas our live one has pk underscore live. So let's see if when we deploy this to Netlify, uh, whether it is our pk test key or our pk live key. And we'll need to wait for this to build and deploy a new version of our application. Okay, and now if we head over to our application and go to .netlify slash functions slash test, you'll see that we have our public key for PK live. So when we're running in our development environment, that is PK test. And when we're running in production, that's PK live. Awesome, so everything is wired up correctly. We now have our test API keys when we're running in our dev environment, and we have our live API keys when we're running in production. In the next video, we are going to look at wiring this all up finally. We are going to charge a card with Stripe using our Netlify function triggered from our Next.js application. I'll see you there.